Mr. President, I hear from families in Louisiana every day that they're struggling to keep up with gas prices at historic high. It's becoming unaffordable to drive to work or drop their kids off at school. The 15-year-old pickup that they drive, not because they don't want a new car, but because they cannot afford a new car, now costs $100 a tank to fill up. And for those who say tell them to buy an electric vehicle, it is a modern day equivalent of Marie Antoinette saying to the peasants, let them eat cake. Families are forced to choose between buying groceries and buying gas. And the Biden administration doesn't really seem to be listening, so I am here to make their voices heard. Let me just read some letters from we've received from constituents, just kind of like sending us a line. Here is Laurie from Jamestown, Louisiana. Dear Mr. Cassidy, is there any relief in sight for gas prices? We had affordable gas under the Trump administration. There is no reason we should have these prices now if the oil and gas production in the United States was in full force. Why would we ever depend on other countries for anything when we've already been energy independent just a short time ago? Families in our country are suffering. Next letter, Gwendolyn from Prairieville. Dear Senator Cassidy, please do whatever it takes to get American oil and gas used as resources. I am a divorced 60-year-old woman on a limited income. Gas has gone up, electricity has gone up, groceries have gone up, medical expenses have gone up, insurance has gone up drastically, and my pay has not kept up at all. Here's Donna's from Singer. Dear Senator Cassidy, I just wanted to voice, voice my opinion of how it makes no sense that our government will not renew oil leases off the coast of Louisiana. There is no reason to be held hostage by countries who do not care about our sovereignty. This is Philip from DeRitter. Please help with these high gas and food prices. I am retired and on a fixed income, and these higher gas prices and food prices are starting to hurt me and my wife. Here's Gregory from New Iberia. This is not about party affiliation. We're coming into a bad crisis. Both parties need to come together and talk about drilling. We have all the resources we need to start drilling again, and I know you're trying. I see it on the news. Please keep trying. Here's Laura from Vinton. I want to express my concern for us, Louisiana citizens. Gas prices are rising every day. Food prices are rising every day also. It's coming down to, have to having to choose between to get gas or get groceries. Something needs to be done. U.S. citizens are suffering daily. Please help us, Americans. Here's Daryl from Morningsport. As your constituent, I urge you to publicly call for and vote in favor of the immediate and permanent expansion of domestic oil and natural gas production. No more Green New Deal nonsense. Energy dependence is driving higher gas and diesel prices that are causing skyrocketing gas and food prices. We can't rely on Iran or Venezuela to save us. We need to produce our own energy here, in America, and now. Lastly, Karen from Gretna asks, why, why are we importing any oil? Energy independence is of vital importance to us and our national security. Louisiana was a leader in domestic energy production. It is shocking to see how quickly our country has changed. Please continue to work on our behalf to force our government to reinstate the energy independence policies that were in effect during the Trump administration. Speak loudly for us. Speak loudly for us. Speak loudly for us. What these letters make clear is that Americans are hurting. That is why I have called for an operation warp speed to lower the prices at the pump, to unleash American energy, and to regain our energy independence. President Biden needs to stop prioritizing far-left climate activists over the family sitting at the dinner table asking what they have to give up next in order to make ends meet. President Biden, as one of my constituents says, needs to go where real people live. With that, I yield.